Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. I really appreciate it. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Here's a strength card, card number eight and the 10 of cups. I feel like this is your year, okay? Having the strength and the courage to really move through some different things. Ten of Cups here. Wow. And the Empress. This is absolutely your year. The Seven of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. You've experienced a lot of delays, but you have the strength now to overcome a lot of conflict, a lot of drama, a lot of being just discontent and bored because things have not been moving along. The wheel is here with the Balance card. A shift is coming. Okay. So we have the Empress here with the Ten of Cups. It's time for you to take action. Okay. Um, it's time for you to give birth to something new. You have creative projects. You have people, um, just people, places, things, situations. It's all waiting on you right now. If there's a lot of abundance and prosperity, a lot of things that are about to take place that are going to make you very happy with the Ten of Cups being here. Some of you right now, you're really about to actually create your own family. You're about to have whatever is considered happily ever after for you. Some of you, you want to be single and that's perfectly fine. Um, but if you want to have a family, if you want to be single, if you want to have an amazing business, if you want to have a career, whatever it is, you know, if, if you just whatever it is, it's, it's wish fulfillment is here. Um, but a lot of you, it has been difficult for you to actually manifest perhaps the creation of a family with the Empress and the Ten of Cups. This is definitely a person here who wants to be a partner and perhaps a parent. Or even if you have um, children already, you may just want more peace, more stability, more harmony in your um, your household. The Seven of Pentacles is here with the Two of Swords or with the Seven of Pentacles being here. This is about you really, really planting those seeds, waiting on your harvest to come in. Last year, being which was the year of the number seven, 2023, you could have planted a lot of really good seeds. And I think that now what's going to happen is as you were planting seeds, it seemed like the Two of Swords was here. It seemed like nothing was really moving forward. Like um, maybe you were having a difficult time with making choices, um, you could have been in between jobs trying to figure out if you, it was best for you to relocate. Um, should you move forward with certain relationships? Should you cut certain people off? All of those different things. But at the same time, you were still patient. You were still building. You were still planting and being patient for something to come in. And so here is the strength. You now are tapping into this strength, having this courage now to recognize your own personal power. So that with the five of wands here, you can recognize some of this conflict and this drama, okay? Some of you are seeing the truth about a lot of conflict and drama that has come from friends, family, and lovers that has had you kind of stuck, stagnant, and at a crossroads. So you're now realizing that as you are planting these seeds, you don't need to invest in things that aren't truly worth your time, effort, and energy, the Four of Pentacles, I feel that the Empress here, Divine Feminine, whether male or female, you've been surrounded by a lot of conflict. The Five of Wands is definitely conflict. It's competition. It's jealousy. It's envy. It's all of those things. But you get into those type of situations to understand the importance of you standing up for yourself. Are you going to keep letting people bully you or are you going to stand up for yourself because people are bullying you because you are the Empress? The enemy doesn't come to rob, steal, kill, and destroy anything that's empty or worthless. You're being attacked because you are the Empress. You're being attacked because you are able to plant seeds that will bring about the Ten of Cups. And for some of you, there has been a masculine, for sure, that has been in your energy. This person with the Four of Cups, they could not recognize you as the Empress. They didn't recognize you as, like you know, a rare gift. They didn't recognize you as magical. They didn't see it. Like they completely missed out on an opportunity to be with you. And now you've planted good seeds and you're moving forward with the six of swords. So you're moving on to peaceful, calm waters going in a brand new direction. Some of you, um, you could have been in a relationship with a person, married in a long-term commitment or whatever. You could have had children. Somebody could have always complained about everything that you did in the house, what you did with the kids, how you cook, clean. They complained about everything. And now you're moving forward because let's, let's all keep in mind, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Many of you now, you're moving on 
and, and you're getting out of this challenging situation. Now that you're improving, you're moving on, you're peaceful, or you know, you're just having some kind of balance in your life now. A person's like, oh wow, that was a good man, that was a good woman. It's like, okay, well, you missed out on the opportunity. The wheel is here. The shift has already happened. There's a, there's a brand new start here that's now bringing in peace, balance, and harmony. And this is like the temperance card. Some of you now, you're finding the strength to open yourself up to new connections. You, for some of you, for a long time, you, you may have kind of been afraid to, I guess, like step out and allow yourself to be with other people, you're coming out of it now. You're finding the strength now to actually be engaged with other people, whether it's friends, family, but a lot of you, especially with lovers. You're finally coming. Some of you, you could have been, went through like a divorce or, you know, a, a nasty breakup. You could have kids. I, just, I see you now, you're getting back out there. You're about to start dating. You're about to start living your life unapologetically as you should. And absolutely. The sun is here. The Empress and the sun. This is maybe like the fourth reading that I have done where I have literally seen the Queen of Cups and the sun. Here's the Queen of Cups and the sun. I keep saying the Queen of Cups, the sun, and the Page of Cups. Let me just tell you, some of you are about to have a child. <laughs> You're about to have, I mean, I'm getting for sure a, ba a, a baby boy. There is fertility motherhood, empress energy, just all throughout the the collective right now. And some of you, I know you're like, I don't want any more kids or whatever, or I can't have kids. Fine. You're about to birth something though, the sun. Something that's going to bring a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. It's going to feel magical. It's, it's a gift from the divine. The queen of cups though, this comes from you planting seeds, being a person who's very loving, caring, kind, you know, compassionate. Maybe, you know, some of you have been very selfless. You've been very selfless even with people who put you in the five of swords. This king of pentacles energy here, this could be someone here who was all about money, very greedy. This person could like to gamble. They make a lot of unwise choices. Somebody made a very unwise choice about you. This person was so busy out running the streets or doing whatever they were doing. They just did not recognize you as a divine feminine. They didn't see it. They were completely blind to it. This could have been somebody who was always very focused on money, power, success. This person didn't have much integrity. Like I said, for them, it, it's, it's all about the dollar. <laughs> and here you are being very selfless and, and nice, compassionate. This is somebody who thought that they were just going to use you up. You know, either this person had a lot of money and they, they completely just didn't care about your feelings or this person didn't have much and they were an opportunist. They didn't see you as a divine feminine. They just didn't. Somebody out here is a gambler. Transformation, though. Yeah. Literally transformation. Oh, my gosh. Your shifts are coming in for sure. You have transformation here. The Ace of Wands, lots of fire. I mean, a lot of fire. For some of you, um, well, I know we have Aquarius season coming up in Pisces, Aries season. Aries season, which is also, you know, Aries being like the emperor divine masculine. Um, for some of you, really focus right now on your, your business, your success, being very passionate and driven about those things. But some of you, there is a divine masculine, like a counterpart that's either about to transform their lives to be with you or this person is going through a transformation and they're making their way to you or you're already with this person. And the relationship is about to go through a major, just like transformative time. Yeah, Aries, Aries season is going to be very significant. Oh, I just noticed it too. The four of wands, the number four here. Yeah. Something around um the next four to six weeks or months. I'm going to say, I, I really feel like something is probably shifting for you in the next four to six weeks. But in the four, next four to six months, some of you, your life is going to be, wow, I did not see that before. The Ten of Pentacles, your life is about to completely change. Yes, in the world. This cycle here with all of this deception, dealing with this 
these manipulative people here who wanted you to be out in the cold and unable to have love that's over. The wheel is here. Somebody had you stuck and bound. I'm going to be honest. Some of you, there was some kind of hex or curse here. Somebody definitely had you stuck. They had you bound, unable to make a decision. It's like You couldn't even really see good offers or opportunities in front of you or somebody had your person bound. Or, or this could have been happening to you and your person, but the wheel is here and the world. So there's a new start here. Something is going to come in just unexpectedly, though. Like somebody is going to achieve something. Like there is some type of success that's coming. Yeah, and it's because, again, somebody here, somebody for many of you was doing magic. Seven of Swords here. Somebody was doing some kind of magic to have you stuck at a crossroads. Somebody did not want you to have any type of personal freedom. They didn't want you to express yourself. They didn't want you to be free. They simply just didn't want you to be free. The Five of Pentacles is here. Somebody here who was feeling left out in the cold, betrayed, upset. They were projecting thought these feelings onto you. This is somebody here. Could be this gambler. Somebody could have lost a lot of money or lost some kind of opportunity. They definitely lost an opportunity with you. This person was projecting so much stuff onto you that it was actually manifesting into your, your physical reality. The Ace of Cups here. It's all because this person did not want you to move forward. Yeah, look at that. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, the Six of Cups, and then the Ace of Cups here. Somebody out here definitely that they get around to. They they deal with a lot of different people. But a lot of you now, the Ace of Cups here and the Queen of Pentacles, you have love where you're gonna be able to give your love freely and generously to a person that you can trust. But somebody from your past wants to come back. This could be because something isn't working out with another person that they're with. This person went towards a person um, that they were working with, like literally working with. The Three of Swords is here. Yeah. They're heartbroken. They want to come back to see it's time for you to make a choice and somebody, a, a new choice. This person is watching you, though. But you have the King of Cups here and Judgment. <laughs> so somebody is going through karma and they're seeing you now as the Divine Feminine and they want their spot back. But the Knight of Cups is here. I feel like somebody else is coming in to bring you divine justice. For some of you, the new person coming into your life, they could definitely be a fire sign. I guess strength here and, um, te and temperance. Leo, Sagittarius, Libra is here with the Justice card. And here's the King of Swords. You could be dealing with a person that has fire in their chart in Libra. They have Libra somewhere. I don't feel like this person has a lot of like water in their chart. For some of you, this new person, they're they're not a, a super emotional person, but they are a person of integrity. This person, they they know right from wrong. And I feel like this is someone who probably works very closely with like angels with the temperance here and the king of um swords. This person, they work closely with like Archangel Michael. They're an alchemist. They could be free-spirited, but when this person chooses to take action, they don't do it just doing like stuff on the whim. This is the kind of person who has self-control and moderation. They're not anything like this past person who makes a lot of unwise choices. You guys were dealing with somebody in the past who likes to, to gamble. Gamble people, money, and everything. This person f has fumbled a lot. Now this person is going through judgment. And they're realizing that, oh, maybe they really had love for you. But it's sad because this person, they're seeing the love that they have for you now that they are without. Now that everything for them is stopping. And, and now that their um, manipulation or, or maybe even their black magic isn't working. Now they're like, oh, wow. But this is really sick and twisted because this person is finding value in you because of how much you suffered. This person literally finds you very valuable and attractive because they know how much you have suffered, how much you've endured, that they sent your way. This person knows that they've been doing spell work on you for the last five or more years. And the fact that you can still show up as the Empress and the Sun, it's like literally this person, they love to hate you, but until they have so much respect for you. 
because they know they're like anybody else would have nobody would have made it they know they couldn't make it through what they put you through it's really weird <laughs> because this person they're like oh i think that i should be with you because i don't know if this is the kind of person who feels like um well obviously this person associates love with pain they feel like you know how much a person loves you by how much they can endure, how much suffering they can endure. That that proves to them that you love them. And they're sick. This is somebody who is all about survival. Literally, they see you as the empress. They never saw you as divine feminine or masculine before. But now after years of harassing you, spiritually bullying you they're like oh wow you're still standing strong you must be standing strong because of your love for me they still don't even recognize that you're standing tall because of your love for yourself and because god loves you and you love god they still think that this is about them this is a crazy person extremely narcissistic <laughs> like literally they think that you exist because of them why is counsel And here's a star and the nine of pentacles. So for some of you, you could be into philanthropy. You could be a very philosophical person. Okay. I just say it for some of you, you have a very close relationship with God. With wise counsel, the hierophant and the star here, the nine of pentacles. You now can enjoy the fruits of your labor. You're, you're a star or you're on the way to becoming a star. But it's like you have a very bright future. Something is like a dream come true. It's like God is about to make a dream of yours really come true. And if you had a dream to be very stable, very secure, um, able to, I'm hearing, <laughs> able to live a soft life that's, you know, happily ever after. If you wanted your own business or whatever the case is, that's happening. That's happening for you. And it's protected. It's 100% protected. And somebody is going through judgment. And they're like, oh, wow. This person, what they really want is they, they want to be beside you now that you're the star. Yeah, the ten of wands. But you have somebody now, I told you, a divine masculine, an emperor. They're about to come in and really lighten your load. You have somebody out here who could have all the money in the world, but they still want to be able to live off of your energy. And they, it's really crazy because I'm going to be honest, this is the type of person for some of you, no matter how much they have, where they've been or what they've done, this person wants to be in the spotlight with you. This person really wants to be seen. They want the two of you to be seen together. So, so for some of you, I mean, obviously with the, the star, the emperor, the um, hierophant, the temperance, some of you are an earth angel. This person wants to be seen with you. They also want to be in a spiritual contract with you. Because this person has made a lot of unwise choices and they are suffering. They know for a sure fact they're suffering. This person sees you on the come up. The four of wands, six of wands, ace of wands, ten of pentacles. Your life is about to change. Some of you literally are about to become stars or marry. You're going to be marrying a person that is very wise and powerful. Like You're really going to have something good. I'm not talking about surface level. It's going to be real, like true. It's true love. It's, it's true wealth. And abundance. You have this crazy person out here that never saw your worth, <laughs> never actually wanted to really pursue you. Now their life is crashing and burning and they want to jump on your bandwagon. No. Yeah, it's Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, seven of ones. You better block this person. You better. <laughs> you better block them quick, fast, and in a hurry. Absolutely not. You need to stand up for yourself. You already know exactly what this person is doing. This is somebody who their empire is falling. This person could have gambled away all their money. They're going through a bankruptcy, something that they were very invested in. They could have even been invested in things with the person that, you know, they have been, I don't know, dangling in your face, make it, trying to make you feel like you were less than. Things for this person is not going according to their plans anymore. The last shall be first and the first shall be last. 
Now, this person is stressed out. They don't know where this fear and anxiety is coming from. They're stressed out too because the Eight of Wands and then the Eight of Swords is here with release in the chariot. This person is stressed out because you know who you are. You've tapped into your power. They can, Their illusions don't work anymore. You have confidence. You're not feeling helpless. You're not in any kind of victim consciousness. You're not waiting on this person to do anything. And whatever you're working on right now, whatever this wealth, abundance, relationship, good stuff that's coming, it's coming in fast. It's coming in so fast that there's no way they can stop it. Like you're free. For one, like this person, they never really had control anyway. They were just doing so much to try to affect your mind. For a lot of you, this person did some type of binding work so that whenever they had some kind of anxiety, you was you were having anxiety as well. You're free from this, though. Yeah. You're free. <laughs> this is a death card and a chariot. It's over. The whole illusion of this person being someone who was good for you or you're happily ever after, or even the illusion that they've created in their own mind that they even have a chance with you is over. The chariot here, nine of cups, you're moving on a wish fulfillment with the ace of swords. That's the truth. You have your sword of truth. You have Archangel Michael protecting you as well. Anything new that you work on right now is protected. There's nothing to worry about. That's the page of pentacles and the fool card here and the two of cups. Yeah, it's clear. The decision has been made. You're going towards new. Ten of Swords here with the hangman, the awakening card. This is the end of this tough situation. You've gone through an awakening because of it. Great. But now here's the Ace of Pentacles. Something new is coming in that brings true security and stability. There's a windfall of abundance coming in. And like you're gaining so much wisdom now, so much good fortune. You could be making like major purchases, opening up a business, going back to school. There's some real money that's about to be spent or invested in you. Some of you, if you've been in a relationship with somebody, if either of you have been having any kind of financial issues, family issues or whatever, that's all about to be a thing of the past. I'm telling you, somebody here definitely did something where they were binding themselves to you in some type of way so that... Their emotions would affect your emotions or they will be able to read your emotions to know when or how to attack you. The three of pentacles is here with the star. Some of you are about to really be teaming up or collaborating with a group or a person that does some type of healing work or community work. Okay, you could be working on like some kind of um platform or doing something publicly, public speaking or whatever it is. But it's like, you're going to be doing something that's very creative. It could be in the healing community, spiritual community. It doesn't have to be. Okay. This could, you, you could be in the medical field or le anything. It doesn't matter what it is, but it's like, you're about to really shine bright. You're about to start doing some type of meaningful work, something that means something to you and to a, a collective or a community of people. Like, this is your purpose. And, and it's like, I mean, it's very typical. Um, some of you, I, I feel like there is about to be something where you're in the spotlight or you're already in the spotlight and somebody is like, oh, wow, you're really blowing up. This could have something to do, yeah, the king of wands. Somebody's taking action. Somebody's like, oh, wow, like you're, you're really, somebody's like, you're really on the come up. Like you're really blowing up fast. So I don't know if there's something, yeah, five of wands and somebody is jealous. They're envious. They're sending you a lot of chaotic energy because they're jealous. This is somebody here who feels like they're a leader and they feel like whatever victory, success, rewards, recognition, and especially any type of attention that you have, they feel like they should have it. So for some of you, you literally have an ex. A friend or family member that is competing with you. And it's something about you being in the spotlight. They're like, no, they feel like they should be in the spotlight. <laughs> it's like, I'm saying, we're literally, for some of you, somebody is comparing how many likes you have. If you take a picture and you post a picture, they're trying to see how many likes do you have versus how many likes do they typically get on the picture. It's, it's real petty. 
heavy um water energy here, Queen of Cups, the chariot, which will be um cancer energy, and then the sun here. Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords in the verse. There could be a cancer person, a cancer that was doing this, a cancer who wanted to move forward towards wish fulfillment. The, the sun here, joy, happiness, working with children. The Queen of Cups, the Cherry of the Sun. Somebody's name could be Joy. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody here was, was invested in something, um, on doing something for the long term. For some, there's a masculine out here. I'm, I was picking up a feminine, but this this is a different deck now, too. This is switching to a different story. For some, there's a masculine out here. This person has been feeling very indecisive, unable to focus, unable to make long-term goals. There's a cancer feminine out here who has been doing something in the background to block this masculine. Yeah, you have here the star and then the lovers. Boom, here's the boom, the tower and the moon. Something is being revealed, y'all, about it. There's a cancer out here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, very, very heavy cancer energy. Two of swords. This, whatever this person did to try to block somebody, the two of swords in the reverse, yes, seven of swords. It was, this was, this was bad. They shouldn't have done this. They did this to a king of cups, somebody that they considered to be their counterpart. Yeah, when somebody, the hierophant in the reverse, when a person decided that they didn't want to conform to some kind of relationship here, to move in a different direction. So this reading, whether you're divine feminine or divine masculine, you've literally had a partner that has been trying to sabotage your life, your future, and has been secretly competing with you and upset and angry because you won't actually help them to bring about some kind of prosperity, abundance, or even popularity or fame. For some of you who are watching this, you definitely at some point have worked with somebody. You, you know, shared ideas. Maybe you've had a business or you consider having a business with a person. Um, you and another person both could, you know, kind of be in the public eye or be considered popular. Your person started competing with you. It feels like when you are with this person, whether you're the divine feminine or masculine watching, when you were with somebody, they may have been the ones that were very popular, okay? Now that you're not with this person and you've gone on your own spiritual journey and found your life purpose, God is rewarding you because you're actually in alignment. Now, it's like something for them is drying up and, for some, and something for you is like growing and it's expanding. This person is watching you from afar. They're very jealous and envious and they're sending you some type of chaotic energy, and it's a very jealous, envious, competitive-like energy. But whoever this Queen of Cups is, this is a very, um, this right here is a very specific storyline here. I don't know who this is. Okay. There is a Cancer Feminine out here. This person was very sneaky, very calculated, okay, and creating some kind of plan or strategy. So that when somebody was trying to move forward, they would make a poor choice here. Um, somebody could have even done with the chariot card here and the two of swords in the reverse. This this person, oh my goodness, this particular karmic feminine could have even done something with the car. I don't know. This person could have vandalized the car, um, had someone's the car towed, had someone's car taken, or something crazy here. It's because they found they found this King of Cups to really be their wish fulfillment. This Queen of Cups person wanted kids. They wanted their life to be with this King of Cups. And when this King of Cups started saying the Hierophant in the reverse, that they did not want marriage or commitment, the Seven of Pentacles is here with the Hierophant in the reverse. Some, there's a masculine out here, and I feel like this is the divine masculine. When this person decided that they did not want to build anything long-term with this Queen of Cups, this Queen of Cups, most likely heavy cancer energy, this person got very, very vindictive and destructive. They sure did. Yeah, eight of swords in the reverse. This person right now, 
a lot of the mental conflict that they sent out, they could be experiencing it. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this is karma. There's a turning point here. Something is shifting and changing. And yeah, the star. You have the star, the lovers, the ten of cups, the emperor, and the temperance in the reverse. It's destined for somebody to have a ten of cups. So when somebody, when somebody told a person like, hey, I don't want to invest in anything long term. Let's just, you know, pump the brakes on marriage or commitment or whatever. This person got pissed off, but now it's like a whole new level of rage because somebody has walked away and now they're going towards a connection where there actually may be a marriage or like a solid commitment. So, like I said, there's a divine masculine out here. This person lost a lot dealing with this crazy um, emotionally like, I don't know, this this drama queen person. And now this person is becoming the emperor. They could have been in a slightly distorted energy when they was with this past person. They're the emperor now. And somebody with this person is saying, oh, so you couldn't be the emperor for me, but you now want to go and be the emperor for somebody else. But whatever this person did in the background to cause... Um, this divine masculine or divine feminine in this earth angel energy for them to lose some kind of peace, balance, or harmony. And I feel like it has something to do with a car or somebody's forward movement, their income or something like that. This now is about to come back and bite this person or somebody doesn't realize that by sending this type of negative chaotic energy out or whatever they did out of pure malice, it actually just pushed somebody down a better path. See, a lot of people don't realize that when they attack a person or attack their finances or whatever, once you do that to a certain person and they know that you've done that to them, they will never deal with you. This person, whoever this karmic feminine energy is, they thought that they were going to control somebody and make them come towards them and invest in something long term by them choosing to be very controlling and vindictive. All they did, I'm going to be honest, what this person really did is they pushed somebody into their divine feminine or masculine energy and they pushed them into the arms of somebody else. A lot of these people, they do all this wicked stuff thinking that you're going to be fool enough to turn around and go back to them. It's like, no, <laughs> whoever, that, whoever you've pushed this far is never going to come back to you because of what you, you yeah, the two of ones. Somebody now, after, after whoever this queen of cups did, when she did this to this masculine, this person started exploring their options. This person started exploring their options. They went within. They did some soul searching and healing. They gained a new perspective about the situation. And now they're receiving good news. They're moving on to something brand new. Yeah, somebody thought that, yeah, five of pentacles, five of wands, that they create enough drama in a person's life and hardships and makes life hard for this person to the, somebody definitely did something to affect the person's finances what this what this person did was they tried to take a car or ruin the finances for this masculine so that they would be juggling very like frugal discontent and all this other crap the ten of swords here but it's in the reverse and right behind it is the four of wands for one, this Ten of Swords, whoever did this to this masculine, the karma that they received, they're, they're stuck. It's it, like, and, and they're responsible for it. And they're going to feel it. But on the flip, this masculine, this Ten of Swords energy is being lifted off of them. And they're going towards real security, stability. And they're going to be celebrated. I'm hearing somebody say, <laughs> like literally somebody say, yeah, they're really flexing on their ex because somebody is about to go and have everything that somebody knew that their ex wanted so badly with them and that their ex was trying everything to stop them from having. These people are control freaks. Whoever this is, There's a karmic feminine in this reading and a karmic masculine. So divine feminine and masculine, this is the fall of your, your false twin flames or these karmic counterfeits. 
that thought that with their control tactics, magic, and manipulation, that they would actually stop your forward movement. These people had no idea how strong you, you are. And I don't think that you or them actually expected for some of you to actually come into union with somebody so quickly after going through these situations. Some of you, you either have or you will meet a person while you're going through hell with the past person. And you will build on that connection with that person. Nobody saw that coming. These people thought that they were just going to throw you to the wolves and leave you out in the dumps. God made a way. <laughs> So, I'm really um, picking up like a strong energy here. I'm hearing Burner Boy, Big Seven. Big Seven. Let me see. What do the lyrics in this song say? Because, I mean, it keeps on playing in my head. Oh, wow. Wow. Listen, y'all. Oh my goodness, so I'm like typing in Burner I'm trying to look for the lyrics and it literally says Burner Boy Zodiac sign is a cancer. I was not looking for that. Literally the first, the search, it says Burner Boy Zodiac, he's a cancer. Okay, that's not what I was looking for though. He was born on July 2nd. You don't know, Burner Boy is um, a Nigerian rapper. He was born on July 2nd, he's a cancer. So there is a, definitely a cancer that is of significance here. Somebody could be a cancer. Somebody could be Nigerian. But I'm hearing the song Big Seven in my head. Let me. I'm just looking for the lyrics to see if there is a message here that I need to grab. Big Seven. So pretty much in this song, he's like been wavy since morning. Pretty much I'm not taking anything from anybody. So I beg you don't disturb me. I'm not going to speak in pigeon, but <laughs> it's like, don't talk to me in public. So no, they talk to me in public. Yeah. He's like, you know, pretty much like I said, like flexing on somebody, like don't talk to me anymore. Like, yeah, I'm up. I'm up now. I'm good. Don't talk to me. RIP to you. Don't talk to me. It's it's whatever. So somebody is about to have like that that season of wins. And it's like the people who was coming at you all crazy, these exes, friends, family, whomever, it's just like it doesn't matter. <laughs> this is a song about a lot of confidence in achieving your own personal success. Yeah, you have some people, honey, that Divine Feminine and Divine Mass, these people really try to make life very difficult for you. And I'm hearing Big, big Seven. <laughs> like, look, new beginnings and compassion. This is like, uh, I don't even know the name of this deck. It's, it's a lot of cards in here about manifestation. Compassion. And I think that this is a beautiful thing for a lot of people who resonate with this. You have so many blessings and good luck coming in because you killed a lot of these people with compassion. You killed them with kindness. You killed them with compassion. When Some of you have people, they were trying to take your cars, your kids, your clothes, your shoes, where you live, trying to file false reports on you, slander your name. They did everything to try to stop you and God still made a way. You still have luck and you still healed. You got the answers about who they are. Yeah, financial health. Some of you definitely had people that were attacking your finances. They thought that they were going to drive you insane and have you dead, just dead broke. But see, God was compassionate and God also could have sent the person in your life who was compassionate towards you. Or this is how you were towards somebody. That's why I always say, don't ever uh, judge a, a person's story by the chapter that you walked in on. Because you never actually know what somebody has gone through or what they're coming out of. We're always either going into a storm or coming out of one. That's life. Don't, don't ever get too comfortable. 
I tell people all time, if, you, if you've ever experienced a layoff or anything else, you can have it all today. You can lose it all tonight. Somebody thought that they would they they was playing somebody. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make your life so difficult. And God sent somebody right to this person who was compassionate, protection. And this masculine out here who has been done so wrong by this feminine, God sent the real divine feminine to this person that has been protecting them. And that's why this part, yeah, somebody wanted someone's manifestations to be turned up down, upside down. God was like, that's okay. I'll send you an earth angel that'll look after you and help you. That'll be compassionate. And now that's the reason why a minute ago we saw what was the lovers, the star. Um, the lovers, the star, the emperor, and some, oh yeah, the four of wands. Here it is, yeah. Now somebody is about to go have their own security, stability, and, and truly be a divine masculine. And they're going to be a divine masculine for somebody that actually believed in them. Somebody that didn't throw them to the wolves because they couldn't control them. This is a, some distorted feminine that wanted to reign supreme and have control over a masculine. So decided to try to beat this person down and kick because this person, I guess, didn't want to marry them. Somebody out here was upset. Um, I'm hearing specifically this this feminine was upset that a masculine did not want to live with them. So because this masculine didn't want to live with them or marry them, they decided they was going to make this person's life a living hell or because they just broke up. This person should have just lived well enough alone and went their own way. This person probably did go their own way, but they still decided to attack this masculine. Clarity. Yeah. And I feel like this masculine, when they got clarity about this, they still had compassion for this person. Somebody out here is, has psychic abilities. And somebody's intuition was telling them that somebody was going to come in and try to reconcile with them. But their intuition was also telling them that the reason for many of their problems was due to this person. Somebody here decided to just forgive them and to move on and thank God. Like, at least they had the courage to get through whatever this hardship was and this person was being protected. Because somebody tried to destroy somebody's dreams by destroying their financial health. This could be for you, divine feminine or divine masculine, but here you have justice. You become empowered and you are free. Wow. Yep. So that's that. Um, I'm going to pull a few of these. And we'll be done. Wow, I cannot believe that. So th this reading is definitely picking up a cancer. <laughs> cancer, July 2nd. Burnable. So somebody could be Nigerian. Somebody could be a cancer. Wow. <laughs> I like how this reading kind of picked up the situation for Divine Feminine and their past karmic. And the divine masculine and their past karmic. Actually, I'm gonna pull just a few of these. Look at that karmic cycle. <laughs> I'm seeing a different deck though. Settling scores in this life, karmic relationship. I just said that a divine feminine and a karmic and a divine masculine and a karmic. Somebody here is is out of a, a karmic cycle here. Somebody is realizing that their lover was actually their enemy. Their lover was two-faced. Their lover was the person who was in the background causing them to have all kinds of issues. Poor health. This is the mind control, magic, spell work, okay, manipulation, game playing, and everything here. But the will is here, so destiny is here. And it's now destined for somebody to relocate, to move forward, to have a change in their home. Somebody's going to get everything that they were hoping and wishing and praying for. Somebody may relocate. Somebody could be moving to a different home, a different job, a different city, state, country, continent, or whatever. And now whoever sent this, this evil energy out towards a person so that they could not go towards their purpose, now this person, they're going to be without love. Their love life is going to be blocked. And this person could still be, they could have options, but they're not going to have a divine feminine or masculine. This divine feminine or masculine is very protective because this person is aligned with their with their actual pur purpose in life. You are a very rare person or there is some kind of like one of a kind 
love or relationship or opportunity that's coming up. This card also says wealth and prosperity. For some of you too, whoever this person is, whether you're the divine feminine or masculine, somebody absolutely sees you as a person that they want to possibly spend their life with, with that um, pink diamond here. Yeah, anger. Somebody is angry that a person is dating. <laughs> Somebody feels very angry that someone is dating. They have the audacity to think that there's unfinished business between you and them. Yeah, there's not. Because there's a divine masculine out here. They're about to go towards this woman, have a child with them, and have a whole new phase of life that's going to open them up to all of their dreams. Yeah. Absolutely. Somebody was passionate about using some kind of divination spine to figure out who someone was celebrating with so that they could sabotage their life and have them in isolation or in survival mode constantly. Again, we're picking up the energy of, of karmics, like the, the karmic, whether it's a karmic feminine or a karmic masculine out here. But these are the things that have been coming up against a divine feminine and or masculine. I have one more little deck, little love oracle cards. I just looked over and there was another deck that I just saw, but the imprisonment card grabbed my attention. Look at that. I told you. <laughs> That's why Spirit was like, pick up this deck. As soon as I cut the deck, false to and flame. Somebody has clarity about it. Somebody was overthinking and in a mental prison because they were connected to a false twin flame and it was this cancer female. So this, this seems very specific, but somebody out here, there's a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, who is somebody's false twin flame. This person has someone all jacked up. This person is now doing shadow work and healing their inner child. Whatever this spell work, hex, or confusion is, it's being lifted. Commitment. This person wants to make a, an offer of commitment to, to a new love. Yeah, somebody here thought that they was going to destroy this person. And I feel like at some point, this divine masculine could have even been missing this person because they didn't understand that this person was actually sabotaging their life in the background. But this person now, this masculine, spirit is guiding them towards new love. They have love and passion for somebody new that they see as their life partner. This person could have met a divine feminine while they helped them to heal their inner child, was there to comfort them through their dark night of the soul. They gained a new perspective about life, about love, and now this person wants a forever commitment. And that's just that. <laughs> yeah, and look at the bottom of the deck. Somebody here is left out in the cold. So you have a very um beautiful divine feminine energy out here. There's a divine feminine who is being honored, cherished, and respected by a divine masculine. That divine masculine has a false twin flame that is spiritually attacking this connection. And then divine feminine, because you have been there to help, to heal, and to possibly love whoever your true divine masculine is, your karmic ex, your um, false twin flame is spiritually attacking you and this person. This energy is being cleared out. Your exes, whether you're divine feminine or masculine, these people think they have unfinished business with you. Because... After they left everything up in the air and tried to ruin you, you still were able to find the key to come out of their, their illusion. You still were able to find a solution to help you go towards your life purpose and a serious commitment that for many of you is going to lead to marriage. Yeah, this is somebody who had their eyes on somebody else. They thought you were supposed to fight and compete. Baby, I cannot make this up. You have literally marriage and union here. So if you were worried about your marriage, commitment, or union, don't. <laughs> All you need to do right now is have boundaries with these people who have been trying to break into your energy. These people did enough. So 2023, these exes, they went too far. The spell work, the games, or whatever. Because I, I kept it big seven. And it's like this year's gonna be the year, a lot of a lot of abundance, a lot of happiness. And it cannot be stopped. This is the year of the dragon. So that's that. <laughs> Congratulations. This was a very empowering reading. Happy to see it. So, man, this energy is so good. It's like I don't even want to get out of it. Um, is there anything else? Let me see. I'll be telling you, I'll be trying to use more decks. 
yeah, self sabotage. I'm not using this deck, but um, this card came up with the other one. Self sabotage. Somebody wants you in a cycle of of sabotaging yourself because they were in the background doing things to try and sabotage you and your connection. Somebody wants you to think that you were destroying everything in your life. No, they were doing it. It's just a lot of illusions here. Okay, a bunch of cards coming out. I'm gonna read these. Clearing, okay. It says, as true, offering, as true offering arises, it becomes easy to let go. You start to trust that more will always arrive. You shift from mind, mind, mind to God's, 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 such freedom. So you're cleansing and clearing away things that no longer look detachment, clearing and detachment here. So you guys are banishing some stuff out of your your um energy so that you can receive a limitless type of love. Yeah, you have your loss. Somebody wanted you to lose all of your self love and 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 any kind of worthiness because they wanted to block love for you. But when you clear this person out of your energy and you detach from them. Now it's like you can finally start to feel whole inside. For some of you, it's so beautiful because whoever these past people were who at some point meant so much to you when you were under an illusion, eventually you're not going to think about these people, care about them at, or, or anything because God is about to bring you something that's limitless. Like you're about to receive some kind of miracle in money, uh, just whatever. Love, a lot of self-love here. This is you understanding your own self-love and worth. Understand that, that you're worthy of having true love. And it doesn't have to be forced. This is all coming back to you after a major loss, though. It says, sometimes you learn true offering through loss. You make a passionate invitation for love to take over and bring her own plan instead of the egos. See, a lot of people... Me, you, all of us, at some point in the journey, especially if you were new to manifestation and you hadn't really done the deep shadow work and healing, you manifested what appeared to be a counterfeit. I mean, a, a counterpart, and it was a counterfeit because they were they were great for your ego. They they dogged you out, and now you you manifest. Like from a place of being limitless, you manifest from a place of your own Christ consciousness. It's not from your ego. So, of course, now you're manifesting people who want union. They want marriage. It's wish fulfillment. But you had to go through the loss. You had to go through some things to be able to appreciate the real deal. So be thankful for the counterfeit because it makes you appreciate the real deal that much more. Because now you will receive real love, limitless love. And it comes from you clearing your detachment to people who are only here to make you lose things. And you will lose so much that you will begin to question your own self-worth. That's why these people were here, these karmics, were to make you self, like, self-sabotage and to doubt yourself so that you will become strong enough to know that you're worthy of receiving God's love and the love of, of others by loving yourself enough to detach from these people who are control freaks, manipulators.